There's a zipper. Hi, it's Marlisa with Little Crocus Modern Heirlooms. And for this video, I am attempting to do an entire garment in one day. I am deciding to try the skirt only from the Metropolitan Suit by Folkwear. I already have my fabric. I had previously cut out my pattern. So all we have to do is start cutting the fabric and doing the sewing. So we'll see how that goes. Can't tell if I'm focused. Am I focused? Maybe? These two pieces were already on my list for goals for the year. Um, I specifically picked these patterns because one, I loved the way they looked, but two, I thought it would be really easy to incorporate them into a more history bounding fashion. Uh, this blouse I can put with jeans and a leather jacket and I would absolutely wear this all the time. The skirt is a little bit dressier but I'm absolutely excited about where all I will be able to wear it and even more than that how I'll be able to hack the pattern into a more modern sil silhouette. I previously traced and cut out this pattern uh, with the assistance of my cats as always and this pattern has a lot of pieces so we're gonna see how this goes Alexa play Dolly Parton shuffling songs by Dolly Parton on Amazon music
from Feels like home to me Feels like home to me Feels like I'm all the way back Where I belong I was supposed to sew the overskirt closed or not. I'm honestly not sure how this closes. All right, we're gonna read the directions. Okay, uh, skirt. All right, wait, no, skirt. Skirt. Facing, we've done that. Turn skirt inside out and sew center back seam between small and large dots through all four layers. Okay. Insert zipper. Oh! There's a zipper! Insert zipper in center back seam following manufacturer's instructions. All right. Zipper. Well, it's a good thing that I buy in bulk. What am I supposed to use? Nine inch zipper for skirt. Oh, all right, well then. Uh, so we've got that. Okay. A crew. Do I have a nine inch natural? Oh, that's a, no, that's a crew. Mm. I kind of want in the middle. Ah, okay, great. All right. So I've got white, a crew, and natural. Which is going to look best against that? I think I'm going to go with a natural. I think it won't stand out as much, even though it's an invisible zipper, which means, you know, hopefully no one will see it. Um, that's just not the way my <laughs> look goes. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go with a natural. I think it'll be a softer look. Okay. I don't remember the last time I put a zipper in. It definitely was not this decade. Giant book of feet. Feet, 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 feet. Ah, ha ha. Okay. Zipper foot. Well, oh wait, no, 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 no. Even better. Invisible zipper foot. Quick, quick comparison of the two. I'll hold these up. You see that? You see that? Yeah, okay. Woo! Learned that from a makeup tutorial. This is the ski foot, as it's sometimes called, the zipper foot. Uh, so it can just go along the edge. Yay, everyone's happy. You can do it either side. It's a lovely, lovely foot. I also have this doodad, 
which is called an invisible zipper foot because it has these grooves in the underside um, where the invisible feet go or not the invisible feet, that was silly. <laughs> the little plastic doohickeys. They go in the underside uh, in that groove there and so you get right up close. That's the difference. Both work fine. Not necessary. I'm sure I got this, you know, because I like buying shiny things because I'm just a crow. Yeah, which makes sense because I'm Ravenclaw. I did sign up for this, but I did not sign up for this. I mean, I could, if I wanted a more historical look, I could put hooks in, but like, I'm kind of lazy about that too. So, you know, we'll just see how this goes. Okay. Ah! You'll ever do that? Make noises like you were the one that was hurt? <laughs> I think it might have worked. Ah! Okay, all right, let's see. Okay, all right. Now we're cooking with gas. I love it. I love it. All right. Okay. Now the other side. Oh my God. What the heck did I do to this poor thing? Um, 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 Wait, I'm so confused. I'm so, I'm so confused. Stupid zipper. <laughs> What's your damage? Just zippity Doodah your way up, huh? Come on, seriously? <laughs> I just did such a good job sewing you. Why don't you wanna go? the opposite of fun like seriously the opposite of fun this is why I made children's clothes <clears throat> dear self don't do that again just used a four thread overlock. Um, I keep neutral threads in my serger so that I don't really have to switch them out. Yes, there is black, but it's not showing through. Let's see. It's not showing through, so I'm not particularly worried about that. But that just gave my inside seams a nice clean finish and will prevent fraying. 
so yay. And I'm gonna go do all the handwork off camera because there is a lot of it. Yes, it's the next morning. Don't judge me. Never underestimate the usefulness of a pair of nail clippers. these patterns. I was really happy actually. Uh, I am not even going to pretend that this isn't a hot mess uh, <laughs> and I'm not even gonna pretend that that hem is done but that is all on me. Um, if you bother to read the directions they are really well done. They are really well illustrated and well written and I don't think you'll have any problems at all. Um, anything I ran into was absolutely a result of my not reading the directions. So just to put that out front. So yeah, definitely gonna wear this skirt again. Definitely going to make it again. This linen from, um, from Joann's actually performed really well. I starched the heck out of it when I was ironing. Um, it's dated as a 1915 era outfit. But I would absolutely wear this skirt to a wedding or to church or, I mean, maybe, maybe to work. I, I tend to be a little bit more 
casual at work. But um, overall, yeah, just really pleased with the fit. I might fiddle a little bit with the way the waist fits, um, just because of the way I'm particularly shaped. Just to go over again, the changes that I made were not many. Um, really, the only main change I made is that uh, I did not take the darts all the way down on the underskirt. I left those as just a tuck at the waist so that it could fit over my back side a little bit easier. Uh, and it didn't affect, I don't think it affected the look at all because the overskirt just goes really smoothly on top. Uh, I can move really easily in it. It's very comfortable. It's nice and long. This linen is very breezy. Um, yeah, it's kind of everything I like in a skirt. Um, I have an idea to make it, again, but shorter, so modernize it a bit, um, or just close the overskirt panel and make that as its own skirt. So um, yeah, lots of plans for this. You will definitely see it in the future. The sizing I felt was really accurate. Uh, my measurements fit almost exactly into a large, into the smaller side of large, but still definitely in the large range. And I, besides maybe taking it up a tinge in the waist, I don't feel the need to change anything at all. The hips fit really well. Um, there's lots of ease of movement. So yeah, overall happy, very happy. Looking forward to trying the jacket pattern. I have this dream in my head of making the entire suit in this kind of Oh, like a, a sky blue wool with black trim. I just have this in my head. It will happen someday. Things I would not do again. Um, I would, I would serge the edges. I would serge the inside edges, but I would not do it with black thread in my serger. Uh, that, it doesn't show through unless you're looking really closely, but I may go back at some point and either cut that off and redo it, or, um, you know, I may even go in with like some white or a crew lace tape on the front of the skirt, on the um, facing side of the skirt, and do that as an embellishment to cover those areas. That could be really neat. So the blouse that I'm wearing is also folkwear. It is the folkwear Gibson Girl blouse. I, I had in my head that one conceivably would have worn this style blouse with this style skirt. Uh, this fabric is also from Joann's. It is labeled Lyocell, which if I remember correctly is a kind of name for rayon, or ten, no, tensile, which might actually be rayon. Science, not my strong point. So, definitely synthetic, but uh, it was like the exact same color, uh, so I thought that was kind of neat, and it was lightweight, and I live in Alabama, so lightweight and not hot is pretty much my life's priority. Uh, so I thought it, was, it would be a good test for, for a mock-up, for a wearable muslin. Also, it is this very kind of uh, drapey fabric, which has a lot of similarities with Batiste or Imperial Batiste, which is most likely what I would want to make a fancier, lacier version in. So I thought that this was a pretty good comparison for that. As you can see, shoulders, not too bad. I could take in the shoulders a little bit if I really wanted to be picky. I'd have to look at extant examples and uh, see where the shoulder falls um, to be sure. but. This doesn't bother me at all. It actually is not too far from the way the picture on the pattern looks, so that doesn't bother me at all. I also made the uh, sleeve bands wider and I did not put in a placket. The pattern actually calls for a placket, so it would be more tighter fitting like that. But I didn't want to put in a placket um, for this particular test of the garment, so I did add two inches to my sleeve band and um, I did not put in the placket or the snap there. Uh, it calls for buttons. I put snaps in this particular one. It was already synthetic. I was not going for historical accuracy, so I went for ease. Uh, so yeah, I just put some clear snaps in the back. Well, again, I was uh, in the large range and I made a large. I made zero adjustments to the uh, sizing of the pattern. 
zero adjustments to any of the pieces made it absolutely straight out and I really love patterns like this where there's the smoothness of the yoke but then you still have enough fullness to complement the more well endowed of us out there uh, definitely lots of room here so so really really happy with that very excited about all the ways I can change this pattern and wonk it around and, and uh, come up with some really fun things. Maybe doing some smocking. Who knows? As far as uh, doing a project in one day, uh, I used a pattern I had never used before, had not tested uh, its sizing before, did not read the instructions. So the fact that I got it done mostly in a day not too mad about that. So I did put a lot of handwork on myself for this, which I don't know if I would do in the future, honestly. Um, so the fact that I had to take about an hour this morning for some hand sewing, not feeling too guilty about that. Thank you so much for joining me for this project. It was a learning experience as all good projects are.